अब स्टूडेंट्स कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट द मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इन द पॉइंट टू पॉइंट प्रोटोकॉल हमारी पॉइंट टू पॉइंट प्रोटोकॉल की डिस्कशन अभी जारी है और इस पर्टिकुलर डिस्कशन में वी आर गोइंग टेल यू व्हाट आर द अदर प्रोटोकॉल्स दैट पॉइंट टू पॉइंट प्रोटोकॉल कैपिटलाइज ऑन ऑल दो पीपीपी इज अ लिंक लेयर प्रोटोकॉल देर आर अदर प्रोटोकॉल दैट यूज फॉर द लिंक स्टेब्लिशमेंट फॉर ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड टू कैरी द डेटा दैट इट रिसीव फ्रॉम द नेटवर्क लेयर स्टूडेंट्स ये जो प्रोटोकॉल्स हैं दैट द पॉइंट टू पॉइंट प्रोटोकॉल यूजेस um there are of three different types the first one is called a link control protocol that's what ppp uses the second one uh, is the is the authentication protocols uh, or aps there are two of them and we we'll talk about that and and then you have got uh, quite a, a a range of network control protocols that it uses to carry the information and we'll talk about uh, uh, one of them which relates to the the particular protocol that Uh, we use to carry ip uh, information students on the slide you can see that we've got a particular um, frame a ppp frame that we have already discussed and it shows three different protocols that we are using um, in the payload field so um, payload can carry your user data or it can also carry um, the different protocol in, uh, information that your ppp is going to use so the first one as you can see is your lcp this is nothing but your link control protocol as i told you already so your link control um protocol students this is um this is responsible for note kijiyega this is important this is responsible for um establishing uh maintaining configuring and finally terminating our ppp links so the functionality of the link control protocol is that it is used to establish maintain configure and terminate our links and and it also provides the negotiation mechanisms to set the options between the two endpoints and we'll talk about what those options are um students then you have got the authentication protocols and we have got two particular aps that we normally use for ppp the first one is pap and uh, the pap stands for the password authentication protocol and the second one that we will talk about is your chap or the challenge handshake authentication protocol students then you have got the um different network control protocols or ncps there are quite a few of them um there is an osi control protocol um and then there is a for xerox for example we have got xerox control protocol and uh, you know however many uh, types of information that are carried using point to point protocol each one of them will have its own um, network control protocol and the one that we are going to be talking about is going to be ip control protocol uh, which is used to carry the ip information that we receive at the data link layer from layer 3 and students all of this um is is actually embedded in the payload or the data field of the uh, point to point protocol frame students um lcp packet which is encapsulated in a in a frame that's what you are looking at on your slide now or a link control um protocol ka packet maine bataya tha aapko ke lcp is responsible for the establishment the maintenance the configuration and the termination of the um of the links and students in this particular case the payload and the padding the payload part um of your frame the ppp frame that is that that is the one that contains your lcp packet and your lcp packet it consists of first of all the code field which is a one byte um code field and it it contains different um codes that we are going to be going to be using for configuration for termination um and you know acknowledgments and 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 so on then you have got an id field that holds the value that matches a request with a reply um so every message gets assigned an id field and that's what is held here then you have got um the length field length of the information and then you have got some the the actual lcp information that goes in the payload part students uh, code lcp packet ka jo code hai which is the first field um that is what you are looking at on this slide you have got multiple 
um, different codes that we need, that we use for the link control protocol. Um, in this particular case, we divide them into three categories. The first category, it comprises the first four packet types and is used for link configuration. So first four packet types, and this is used for, as the name indicates, it's used for um, configuration request acknowledgement, no acknowledgement, and reject. Students, so the, the second type the, or the second category, it comprises packet types 5 and 6, and that is used for link termination. Uh, and then, students, uh, you have got um, the last five packet types. They are used for link monitoring and link debug debugging. So this is your uh, first category, configuration, termination, and your maintenance and link debugging. 